Smartphones make everyday objects like cameras and watches unnecessary. Apple wants to do the same thing with your wallet. The tech giant launched Apple Pay on Monday. It is a new system for buying everyday items using your phone. Sharon Profis is a senior editor with our partners at CNET, and we're pleased to have you. Welcome. Thank you. So tell us how this works, mm -hmm. Apple Pay. Apple Pay. Well, the first thing you have to do is set up your credit cards, and you can do that either by grabbing the information you already have connected to iTunes or by taking a picture of your card with your phone. Then you can start making purchases. So you go into the store, and at the credit card terminal where you would normally swipe your card, you tap your phone to a certain area that has a symbol that looks like a Wi-Fi signal. And then you scan your fingerprint, and you're done. What if somebody steals my phone? That's it. If someone steals your phone, what you would do is log in to find my iPhone from any other phone or computer and then suspend all transactions mm -hmm. and then go find your phone. But that right. fingerprint thing is kind of nice, so it's either me or my cold dead hand. Right, exactly. So, so I, I do like that feature. I do like that a lot. <laughs> right, and that's that's the one thing that Apple Gail has. is back, everybody. Gail's back. <laughs> you know what I mean, though. Oh, I know exactly okay. what you mean, and, okay. and on, that's the truth. It's mm -hmm. either you or your finger, yeah. however it form it. So, okay, so, so you, you right. tested it. Did yeah. you like so it? I tested it. I really liked it. Oh. I, uh, so basically, it's if you already have your phone in your hand, which most people these days do. do. Mine yes. is always glued to my Me hand. Too. You, it's faster than grabbing your wallet out of your purse and you know swiping mm -hmm. your card. You tap it, you scan your fingerprint, and you're done. Any and, security concerns though? The security is the most important part, and I think a lot of consumers are worried that, you know, I'm not, why would I put my credit card number in my phone? That's yes. dangerous. Well, what happens is when you register your card with your phone, Apple immediately contacts your bank, then the bank issues, well, a token issuer issues a token, and that token is an alias to your regular 16-digit number. Mm -hmm. That's what's stored in your phone, and once it gets to the merchant, it's as useful as an expired mm -hmm. credit card. So today, Staples, mm -hmm. a lot of people are worried that their credit card numbers are mm -hmm. at risk. Well, if they were using Apple Pay, they would be totally okay. They'd get it, and you, oh, because all they'd have is that little token. Correct. Which is meaningless. And it's worth saying that Google Wallet works the same way, so does PayPal. So how does it compare with other um, in-phone payment apps like Google Wallet and PayPal? I, it's very similar to Google Wallet. Both Apple Pay and Google Wallet plug into the existing POS ecosystem. PayPal is a little bit different because you check in on in an app when you get to the store and then you're ready to go. But all three forms are really fast and uh, easy to use. And it's free for the user. And it's user. free for the user, absolutely and free. And Apple makes its money by? Apple gets a very small percentage of each transaction, just like the banks and the credit card issuers do. All right, mm -hmm. Sharon Profa, she's a fan. Check <laughs> it out. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you.